I'm missing my fucking bow. You've got your nipple bow. I need my bow. Santa Lucia. Santa Lucia. So hello and welcome to, back to the kitchen, guys. Welcome back to the new kitchen. Yes. So it's St. Lucia Day. It's St. Lucia Day. So today is St. Lucia Day. Um, it's a big thing in Norway. Yes, it is. So it's like a Christmas tradition. Don't ask me why it is, because uh, I can't remember. But <laughs> what we do, we make delicious buns. And yeah, we walk in like a wait, parade. Parade, yeah, with like white clothes and camels on our. This is very. I actually don't really know what this is. Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> Hang on. But me and Dina have a tradition that every year we make uh, the saffron buns because I love saffron. I love these little buns, and I think it's just a really nice tradition. Oh no, okay, Santa Lucia, port, I'm sorry, like I'm a very poor Norwegian here. <laughs> well, uh, let's see what Wikipedia says. Yes, yeah? Wikipedia <laughs> says Santa Lucia Day, also called Feast of Saint Lucia. It's a Christian feast day, celebrated on the 13th of December in Advent, so it's 13th today. Mm -hmm. um, commer, commer, Commemorating. Com thank you. Santa Lucia is a third century martyr on. Oh, can you say that? Under the. No. <laughs> Blah, 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 who accordingly to the legend brought food and native Christians hiding in the catacombs. The catacombs. 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 What's the difference? Catabombs. Well, a catabomb would suggest something along this line that explodes. Catabomb. Catacomb. Catacombs. Using a candle lit breath. To light her way and lead the hands free to carry as much food as possible. So, Re leading the way wearing a candle wreath, but not red. <laughs> so yes, but well, every every year on the 13th we bake these as lusikater, as we call them in Norwegian. And for some reason, Jenny from Shetland knows about this tradition. So we, uh, me and Jenny, have been cooking this every year. Yeah, together. So we just thought, you know what? We are a channel about cooking, showing new things, and as well as showing you like healthier versions and stuff and like you still enjoy baked goods but yep. bake yourself and we're going to show you how to do it because it's super simple and it's super tasty it's so good so, so you're allowed to indulge a little it's christmas time exactly and yes if you're making it yourself you're probably not going to do it so often <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. and i would say you're allowed to eat a bit extra if you make it yourself instead of going to the shop and buy like shit baked goods yeah, yeah, full of crap, but this is full of great things. Yes. So let's get into it. We have one of my favorites. It's so expensive. But saffron. Expensive taste. Saffron. So, saffron. So yeah, we only ever use it once a year, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, we have our tradition where we make these buns. It's the only time, the only reason we buy saffron yeah. is for the 13th of December. So uh, we've got our saffron here, and we're just gonna be super indulgent and use. This will be about God, that must be about a grams worth. Yeah, some recipes, some recipes are like one gram, some recipes are five grams, so really like it depends how, yeah. how big your wallet is. Yeah, so some recipes, yeah, one gram, some are like um, 0 0.5, barely any yeah. of that, but what we do, just to make it slightly easier to grind it, is we are going to put in a little bit of sugar. Now, if you don't have saffron or don't want to spend money on it, you can actually use this turmeric. Where's the turmeric on? Turmeric. Yes, turmeric will provide that really yellow color. Yeah. Also known as what we used to call my mother used to call it poor man's saffron. Oh yeah? Yeah. So we're gonna start grinding up our saffron. We're gonna try and grind it up really fine because we really want it to uh nice. So we're trying to grind up our saffron, so we'll grind it up really fine so it'll um, really make it so easy to color our milk. But the other thing you can do if you really want that yellow color to come out is you can add a tiny bit of vodka. Yes. So all that out, like all the more alcohol, the better. Yeah, it's Christmas, you know. So we're gonna pour in a little, 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 little bit. There we go. That was a lot more than I wanted to pour in. <laughs> it's Christmas. It's Christmas. So we can see. If we hold that up to the camera. It's so yellow. <laughs> so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna heat up some coconut milk we've got here. So this is 450 mils of coconut milk that I've gone and put into a pan. We're just gonna heat it up. We're not gonna boil it, we're just gonna get it nice and warm. Right, so we're using uh, plant milk, we're using coconut milk. You can of course use normal cow's milk. Yeah, Jenny can't, you've probably never heard, but she can't digest dairy. 
She's not lactose tolerant, but she can't lactose. She's, she's just um, allergic to cow's milk. Yeah, especially yeah. So we have to use coconut milk, but it's like it could be a healthy alternative. Uh, we also it's quite like coconut milk just because it's so sweet. Yeah, it has a bit more sweetness to it. Yeah. And yeah, so it's like yeah, easy. That we're going to be using for our butter because uh, Lucy Bun sent a little butter in it. We actually have butter, so I'm quite excited. I have not tried this yet. I'm really hoping I can eat it. Oh, this is goat's butter. This is goat's butter. It, I'm just excited because it's not margarine, because margarine is <laughs> awful. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, want, don't eat that. Yeah, yeah. so goat's butter, it tastes pretty much the same. It's got a little bit more sweetness to it. Uh, Higher you, moisture content. Yeah, if you're lactose intolerant, you can eat this. You can this. eat this. So you can make this with goat's butter, yes. um, and yeah, it's, it's dust, it, like it doesn't. Don't worry about like the word goat. It's, it's good. It's nice. Yeah, I'm really hoping it doesn't taste like goat. No, it does. I've already tried it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we heated up the butter right now. And oh, no, sorry, we heated up the milk. Yeah, heated up the milk. I'm gonna add the butter to the milk. Sorry, you can't see this, but it's literally. No, it's just you can just do it here. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna be melting the butter into the milk. I don't want to drop it up. You can do that. You can probably. Um, chop the butter up a bit, yeah. but it's melted pretty quickly. Yeah. So, I'm gonna get that in there. We're also gonna pour our saffron into. something like um, like a bread bun or like they're like just pure white plus a flower but this has a lovely yellow colour so yeah she's gonna get that completely out don't waste any sample on it it's so no. bloody expensive <laughs> Tonight, but uh, my friend is currently using it, so we have to use it by do it by hand. Yeah, it's which is absolutely fine. You yeah, know? show you how to do it properly. You don't need a kitchen knife for this. Yeah, pinch of salt in here too. I was actually thinking of doing like maybe like brown sugar is a bit more nutritious than white sugar, but we thought it doesn't matter. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. So, yeah, it's allowed. It's allowed. You know, it's, it's one like, day a year we make these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. It's like, don't be afraid of sugar too much. Like, if you, if you want to have sugar, sometimes you have stuff, it's, it's okay. Just not every day or every week. Yeah, that's the difference. And then what we're going to do next is completely forgot to lay this out because, oops. So, we just got some quick, easy bake yeast here. I mean, if you wanted to do sourdough, you could, but you were gonna need to wait a lot longer. Um, this is just the quick and easy bake yeast because it's guaranteed to rise. So we're gonna do two teaspoons of this. Just making sure this is all mixed up. That, that's that ready, so lovely yellow color. Yeah, so it should feel about should feel about the same. Like, oh, how do you, yeah. how do you explain it? I always just say blood hot. So when you basically when you dip your finger in, 
but it's completely comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mix into the dry. So, I clean hands with yeah, clean your hands because you're going to get dirty with your hands here. Obviously, if you had a kitchen machine, you can just turn that one now uh, and it will do the work for you. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have that. So, just going to start mixing. Go keep on pouring, please. So, I was well, the, the recipe is just to put the recipe down the description below. <laughs> Start speaking in the you know. Hi, you know again. How are you doing today, Emma? What did you have said for us for lunch today, also? Yeah, it's good. Can't believe how that yellow, that color, is so beautiful. Yeah, keep going, please. Yeah. We don't want to add everything at once because it's going to make things difficult. And add a little bit by little bit. Let's get the rest in there now. Yeah. No, you just want to get your hands in there and start kneading. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Work, work the dough. This takes a bit of time to yeah. cook. It takes about, how would you say, about two hours? Yeah. To cook. We've got to leave this to rise yeah. and improve. So, just start some extra flour. Make sure you always have extra flour because you're going to need it for when you're kneading. Okay. Some flour. Yeah. Just keep the bowl because we're going to rise it yeah. in the bowl. Because the way we're gonna shape them is gonna be very nice. Yep. Um, we can use. Well, I'll show you all this later. <laughs> oh, I love this door. Yep. Mm. Good. This is, Bar this is Mark Brown who did last year. Good. Mmm. I just like you now. I feel like I'm in Norway now. Yeah. Mm. So don't be afraid to be a bit violent with the dough. You want to really work it. Anybody be really annoying you at work? Just imagine it's their face. <laughs> so what is really stretchy? My god. <laughs> it's just so tasty. We're not gonna have any left. <laughs> See like even like when I even when I was a kid and they were making this, I was like, oh don't eat the dough, we're not gonna have any left. And like and I'm a grown up and still being told. <laughs> Only stuff because the yeast has to be fermented just yet, so we we'll have to put some in your stomach instead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why if you eat too much dough you end up yeast in it. I don't feel like good afterwards because all the yeast is fermented in your stomach. But of course, it's Christmas. Let's <laughs> have so fun with it. <laughs> or eat that. Don't eat the dough. <laughs> Like you have no control. No. <laughs> so we're pretty much there now, I'd say. Yeah. Really stretchy. <laughs> I thought you were going to do the stretch test. No, <laughs> Dina was just going to eat it. <laughs> right, let's do the stretch test. So what's how we do the stretch test? Let's just like, you can see how thinly you can stretch it so that light passes through it. I'm really prepared about this. Yeah, so am I. Well, you've got light passing through it. So that means it's ready. Yeah, pretty much. I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's put holes in it. <laughs> right, so we'll get it into a nice bowl. And we'll let it rise for a while. Here we go. Boom. And we'll leave this some... Bless the dough in this one. Bless the dough. Do you know how to do that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, always bless the dough. Not my fault, I'm Satan. <laughs> How we do in Italy? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's <laughs> so how we do in Italy? <laughs> no, but they do. That's why I learned it in Italy. You bless the dough. That's how you bless the dough. Oh, right. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a Christian day, so bless the dough. Okay. Okay. And then we need a towel. Yeah. Towel. And we're going to leave that to rise. See you in... See you in an hour. See you in an hour. And then... Black screen. One hour. 
Wow. <laughs> the most dramatic. Wow, well, we'll ask you, this is why she looked like yeah. that. <laughs> mm. So while we, this was resting, or resting? Is that you call Proving. It? What? Proving. Proving. Proving? In Norway we call it, um... A Norwegian word. <laughs> Uh, yeah, being, yeah, being. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so while this was uh, proving having, we made full wine. Yeah. Uh, so obviously we'll share this recipe with you. I don't know, maybe it's already been posted. We'll find out later. Yeah, you, yeah, you also know. <laughs> so, it's time to shape the dough. Let's, let's get a little bit of flour on here. Do we also want to weigh that dough so we know how much to split it into. Do that? Yeah, well, so I'll just take it out. Yeah, just take it out. Get that bowl back on the scales. And then we'll weigh it down. It's like a giant awesome pillow. Everybody should love bread. Oh no. <laughs> well, at least these is fermented away a little bit. <laughs> right, just gonna clean this up. Yeah. For taste purposes. <laughs> the reason why we're gonna weigh it is because I like splitting it into equal parts. Yeah. And it you don't need to do that. <laughs> Okay. So, how much is it? I don't need a calculator. <laughs> I don't have one. Oh, my boyfriend has one. Cool. Because he's an actor. Yeah. God, yeah, he should probably have one of those. <laughs> that one. So, say we want to make. Oh shit, this is. <laughs> this on, yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god. Normal mode. You normal mode. Yep. One, seven, seven, eight, divided by... Do you want to get 20? Go for it. <laughs> this is when you do this SD thing. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Should I just press the gas in the bullshit mode in there? <laughs> bullshit mode BS. <laughs> where is it? It's like something to decimal. Bullshit mode is not a thing, Dina. <laughs> Stop eating our dough! Now we need to re-weigh! <laughs> so we're gonna make 18, okay? 18. Each is gonna be weighing about 90 grams. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I can't eat all that, can I? Well, you ate that much before, otherwise we'd have another bun. <laughs> lies. Not lies. <laughs> lies. So, we were gonna get 20 buns, but we have 19. That's pretty decent, eh? Yeah. So it's clearing. What are you doing now, Jenny? Tell us. Just practicing. We'll get some nice egg on. So what we do. <laughs> so we do is got a bit of these lovely stuff, just freshly proved bits of dough. Just smack them down. And then what you're going to start doing is you're just going to start making circular motions and you want to start bringing in your hands until you have really tight circular motions and you're left with this really tight form dough. So that's going to make it much easier to roll out. So you just do that for each one. It doesn't have to be perfect at this moment because we are going to be rolling these out. It's just to get them a bit more neat. I can do that new Yeah. <laughs> I could eat all of that more, actually. Uh, yeah, I know you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, pat them down. Bam. Yep. And then bring your nails in. You've got a kind of a. Yeah, perfect. Hi, I'm, I'm a pro baker, Jenny. Sure, you are. No, I am. I'm <laughs> ask my family. We're all pro bakers in my family. And we're like, yeast baking is my thing. <laughs> Worldwide is kicking in. Yeah, so is the 90s. <laughs> Look how pretty that one is. Like, we're gonna roll these out, so it really doesn't matter. Just get them a bit more tighter. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the, the secret is to have a firm hand. And a lot of mold wine. <laughs> look at that. Like, look at that, Jenny. No, 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 don't ruin it. <laughs> now we're gonna start shaping them like this. <laughs> so 
we just want to get them into kind of sausage shapes. Yep. And then we're going to start doing the same thing. Now there's actually loads of different, not loads, but there's a few different ways of uh, shaping this, but this is the one I normally do. Yeah, it's a simple one. Because it's so easy. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll sort Even of Dina can do it. <laughs> <laughs> So it's, they're in like S's because for Saint, you see, uh, is that why it is? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you heat up the oven at 180. 180, 180 degrees. Um, 180 degrees. 180 degrees, says. <laughs> 180 degrees. <laughs> That's why you don't drink and bake, kids. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do the glaze for them. So we get to just crack an egg and then we cup. Bit of thank you. Bit of milk, just a little bit. Gonna loosen up that egg. And this will give you that really nice shine. Because uh, if you don't do this, it will like they look dry and yeah. boring and
something beautiful is coming your way. <laughs> you're all dressed up and you're ready to go. But then you say, no, no, no. 